Hey everyone, I put a little freeze frame here to let you know that back in August when I filmed August favorites I also created a little bit of artwork which I thought I deleted accidentally but here it is, apparently I have not so I have edited it for you now and I hope you will enjoy it I'm using some of those art supplies from August favorites so enjoy okay so this is more of an experimental thing rather than you know uh, a finished painting so I want to see what will happen if I combine these paints if I mix them this is where sort of experimentation comes into play and we'll see what happens after things dry. It might be something beautiful or it might be not. Because keep in mind, cobalt blue is a granulating color by nature. So that's okay. We will leave it at that. There's some interesting color um, granulation and sort of almost pigment separation happening there. I can still see the two. They're not blending in together. And then I will go with the bright yellow green, which is a quite, quite a loud color. So, not sure if that will work as a color palette, but I will see. Maybe I'll just dab it into some of these areas here and see what happens. So this is interesting. So this is where I prefer a softer edge. So I'm just gonna take my brush and soften things out a little. Yeah, color combination, the green is not working for me. So what I would do here is try to cover it up. And generally the way I do this is by using a stronger medium. So for instance, um, acrylics and something that's quite opaque. So let me try this and I'll come back and see how I can rescue this. Okay, so. What I would do here now, for instance, I have Titan buff and I would just basically try to calm a few areas or knock them back. So whatever I don't like. And I also don't like much of this area and here. I'm just going to create kind of different thicknesses. I want something to picking out to pick out from here. So I'm just gonna, you know, this one has more thickness. So I'm just going to play with the texture of it, and then these leave them a bit like dry brushing type of effect. And then from here again, I will let it dry fully, and then go in with my oil stick that will have loads of opacity and just create a few areas of like popping color. But I have to say this one is just so gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And I love the subtle peachy color that we achieved here with the water. And I love how the two colors just kind of became friendly. <laughs> so let's wait for this to dry and then I'll come back. So the key here is to kind of um, bring a color that really will stand out and 
because we already have something similar in the background but in a softer version it means that I don't need to add that much so what I'm gonna do is I just taken a bit of the film that creates after it's sort of left for a couple of days untouched so what I'm gonna do is just kind of go in create these marks like that and I don't want them to be too obvious so what I may do is just maybe blend them in a little bit and leave some texture there so it's a bit softer and also I don't want it to be right in the middle so I'm going to take it out into here somewhere like that just a bit more to the right so that's it I could if I wanted to start elongating it or making a bigger um, you know focal point but I don't want to take away from what we have already here so I will leave it at that and then see if I want to introduce some pencils as well just for extra texture so I thought about this and I kind of feel like this sherbet lemon which I really love using would be a good way of adding that pop of color without you know distracting too much because it's a pencil I'm able to create smaller marks and I'm just going to bring this color in in some areas with little doodles and the idea is because it's a water soluble ink tense pencil it becomes even more intense if you add some water to it so I'm going to blend it a little bit and the color will come out a lot more so I think I'm going to create a rule of three here and just bring the color out in like a curved area so we're working around the focal point and now I'm going to take my brush make sure it's nice and clean this color looks really pretty once you wake it up a bit and then I'm just going to create these sort of watermarks and it comes alive a lot better starts popping quite nicely so we kind of you know played on this color here which we didn't like too much but we kind of brought it back in a slightly different way and I think it just helps uh, the colors to kind of merge together I kind of would like something here as well just not to have it such a big area but this is me now starting to um, think a little bit too much about it so let's see if I can also take this pencil and if that would work at all maybe not no this is not strong enough to go over acrylics I also want to bring out this color a little bit more into this area make it slightly bigger like that what did they say about not making this a finished piece and just you know playing with it but anyway I did really enjoy it and I think what I would do now right at the end I'll probably bring a little bit more of this color somewhere here and what about if we bring this color here how would that work probably not very well because it's acrylic paint but nonetheless I'm just going to soften the edges ever so slightly there we go 
I'm starting to create a hard edge so I need a dry brush so that we can barely touch it and then here maybe just take out the paint a bit I don't know how this is going to work what would be much better actually I just realized is a bit of acrylic paint because that would sit better so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift this watercolor and bring in some acrylic paints is what we need so I have a lovely transparent red iron oxide which would be a good match to this color and what I'm going to do now is just drop it right here give it a good mix beforehand and that being acrylic look at that it doesn't beat up at all and it kind of gets that texture of the um, titanium buff quite nicely emphasized I think that works nice kind of similar to the color but not exactly but anyway I could be sitting here for hours and doing this Maybe I can connect this color here as well. So that we have some sort of connection. So we're now connecting the watercolor with the acrylic paint, I'm bringing a little bit of that orange and kind of making the orange blend in with the red. And with the dry brush, just hopefully just soften everything out really so now I'm kind of placing it together a bit more so here I just want a bit more color like so all right that's enough now I'm obviously not trying to create a finished painting just getting carried away with it but yeah it's just a good exercise to see what you like what you don't like and just play with it so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon